everybody, Norm over here with the Vintage Guitar Minute. Now I've got a couple things that are not actually vintage guitars, but I want to show you because I think they're really cool. My friend Bart Coopersmith in New York bought this Joe Bonamassa Norm Burst. Uh, it's an Epiphone uh, guitar that they made to duplicate this uh, 60 Burst that I sold them that was over a quarter of a million dollars. And this is kind of the entry level version of this. Um, fantastic guitar. My friend Bart Cooper Smith bought it in New York. He sent it back to the store and said, why don't you have Joe Bonamassa sign this and we'll give it to the Midnight Mission to help the homeless. And so what a great guy, my buddy Bart Cooper Smith, really good guy out of New York and really sweet guitar. So we're going to get Joe to sign it and we're going to try to raise some money for the homeless. Pretty cool. Thank you, uh, Bart. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. So this guitar, if you're into memorabilia, this is a pretty cool guitar. This is an Ovation, and this is an Adamus, but the Melissa Etheridge model, signed by Melissa, but this was actually uh, Glenn Campbell's guitar. And Glenn got it at the factory and just fell in love with it, got it. It's got the pearl work all around the uh, top. And um, there's a letter from Glenn's son, Cal, uh, just saying, I, I, Cal Campbell, the son of Glenn Campbell, and this guitar was given to Glenn by Ovation six to 10 years ago, and that was in 2016. It's white mother of pearl trim. It's an Adamus. It's signed by Melissa Etheridge, and this is her signature model. Because this guitar was never given as a promotional item to Glenn, it is not listed on the Ovation le ledger. And there is Cal's signature, and um, a picture of Cal with the guitar. Okay, guys, so this is a really cool collectible guitar. This is a Fender Telecaster Custom. Uh, the old Customs had the binding around the outside. They're double bound. And uh, rosewood fingerboard. Uh, this guitar is fully original. It's got the uh, white rope around the pickup the way that they uh, wound it. And then they put that right white rope this is a lacquer finish guitar one of the last of the lacquer finish as you can see uh it's yellowed out got the transitional logo uh the bigger logo um and just a very nice example of a nice uh telecaster double bound custom very similar to andy summers had a guitar very similar to this Hey guys, so this is a late 30s uh, Gibson J35, one of the great guitars that Gibson made. It's the predecessor to the J45 and came right after the Gibson Jumbo. Uh, so just a very cool guitar. There's one repaired crack here, but the guitar sounds fantastic. Really beautiful shape other than that one repaired crack. Um, just really big sounding guitar and uh, this is the predecessor to a lot of great things that Gibson did later. And this is called the J35. It's got the script logo up on top, rosewood board, rosewood bridge, uh, mahogany sides and back, and uh, the fire, a fire uh, stripe uh, tortoise guard. Very cool guitar. So this is a stunning condition Epiphone 1964 FT90 and it's a uh, dreadnought body. Um, it's not a slope shoulder, but really beautiful. It's got the uh, adjustable bridge, tortoise guard, super, super clean, mahogany sides and back. One of the nicest ones I've ever seen. I think this has the tags with it as well. Just an amazing example of a great guitar. Yeah, I did, I did.